Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Icewind Dale. Picking up where we left off, we were stuck in a cave full of super ankegs. And I didn't do the smart thing and research whether picking up their carapaces is actually going to do us any good. So I we're just going to keep side. harvesting. I am here. Um, what else? Yes! It'd be great if my right mouse button would actually let me, you know, do a thing. Oh, that's right, we're sticking them all in the bag of holding, aren't we? Uh, yes, we've got 18 of them so far. You have the iron by your side. I hope they're worth something. Certainly. Over the moment, it seems the bag of holding is infinite, and I'm okay with this. I remember in Icewind Dale 2, they weren't. Although I might be confusing them with the, the, the cheap analogs that that game has as well. This is a cache of Remoraz eggs. Can we put that to the... Yes. Actually, no, I don't want to destroy that, because then we lose our source of carapaces. What have we got? Another one. Let's immediately just back the fuck up. I am prepared. Esri, I fireballs. Are we buffed? We look reasonably buffed. Yes? Um, no, yes. I don't think we are, actually. Well then, I'll stack. Oh, joy, two for one. Yes. Right, well, Mr. Blackwell, can we have a haste, please? So, haste up there, and... Yeah. What's that? Charm, tracking... Oh, it's... Oh, I'm getting my games confused again. It's Dawn that has the aura of generally fucking shit up. We'll just have to settle for, you know, Knight's level wizard spells. Woe is us. Uh, Morgan Kynan's force missiles. Magic missile. On the other one, I think, because we're actually yes. making fairly short work of that first one. Let's throw that immediately in the bag of holding. 20,000 experience. That is never going to not astound me. This game is just throwing experience. Absolutely throwing it at us. Yes, very well. Quick say we might as well charge on. I know we've got a, a an entrance behind us, but for the moment I want to clear this out. I am prepared. Esri, do you have skull trap by any chance? You do. Lay that. And another one. What is it you require? Blackwell, fireball. And hit them. One. Wow. That's all it takes is for them to land that one hit. Yes. Let's see. Ezri, do you have heal? I really don't want a magic missile, bloody Lyra. There we go. Two down, three down. So three more. They weigh a hundred pounds each. Holy crap. That means that this bag of holding, among everything else in there, and those shells weigh a shitload on their own as well, but we're carrying on their own nearly two and a half tons of fucking That's shell. Another one there, let's just brush it. Positive life choices. Blackwell, you are out of ammo entirely. Uh, let's see, Herb, you give yours to Blackwell, please. He's squishy and we don't want him engaging the Remoraz. Grab that. Certainly. Now... Lyra, see what your arrow is there. Okay, we got a shitload of bullets there. We want if there's 80 per stack, we want 240 of them out. Uh, where are 
are we? There we are. We'll give a couple of stacks back to Esri as well, just to keep her off the front line because she's yes. actually squishy as all fuck. I don't know why she's only wearing a mage robe. Obviously, I thought better of her wearing armor at some point. I did see that. The forge is unlit. It appears to be in good repair, but has seen little use. And Tiernan. Hello, Tiernan. This desk holds a few writing utensils, ink, and sketches of various weapons and armor. How the hell is that scat? Oh my god. Game, 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 game. Oh, we're gonna rest because we're going to get wrecked. Let me know what you want. Magic missile. Magic missile. And throw him around. Your and more magic missiles. Yes. May I help? And get in there this and hit time, it. Actions must speak louder than words. I am prepared. I hope. What else do you have? I'm not gonna waste the time casting malaysin on it. Flame arrow, that'll work. Was that Melsacid arrow? Either way. Yeah, that's Melsacid arrow. Okay. We must be getting close to a level again. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, nearly. Nope. Okay, so... Yeah, it's just Aurelia and Alistair that are l lagging. Oh my... <laughs> oh dear! You Do yourself a favour. Don't turn around. At your as you wish. Because hmm, that wouldn't insta-jib him. Uh, let's see. Yes. Esri, we want to... Okay, we'll, we'll malaise in the Dremorad this time. Ow. Someone took a hit. Yes. And another one. Very well. Nudging three tons worth of bug shell now. There we go. Quick save. Well, before we talk to him, we're going to clear this area. Okay, you go somewhere. We don't have any marker. We've got two caves then, and a dwarf. In a quick save, we're going to see where this goes. This goes to a new cave. A reasonably big new cave as well. As you wish. That being the case, we're going to back up. We're going to Certainly. chat to this dwarf who's probably not chosen the best location to set up a blacksmith. I wonder if he can. I wonder if he can make something out of these shells. I also wonder if there's anything we can pickpocket. Quick save. Succeeded. Rust-colored stone. What else does he have? Nothing else. Take the rust-colored stone. What does that do? Tiernan's hearthstone. This small rust-colored sphere is a special dwarven clan stone. And it is all that Tiernan has left to remind him of his days when he lived with the rest of his Hearthstone clan in the Sunset Mountains. These stones are used when members of the clan are travelling far from home and are in need of the comfort the stone provides. Anyone who steals such an object from a dwarf or rips it from his bloody body has a heart a few shades blacker than it should be. Well, fuck. We're going to wear that with pride. Resist fire and cold once a day, burning hands once a day, nullify fatigue once a day. Not usable by anyone in our party by the look of it. We can use that. Literally no one. We are carrying this because reasons. And we're not even going to put that in the bag of holding. We're going to proudly display that in our paladin's inventory. So the, oh dear. So the thief finally gathers the courage to speak to the blind old dwarf. A brave one, you are. Did you think I didn't feel you lifting that little trinket from me pocket? If it means so much to you, then keep it. You could have just asked for it if you wanted it so fierce. I be Tiernan of the Hearthstone clan. Um, we're travellers in search of the seer of these caves. Have you seen her? Have you come to harm her? If you have, you'll be getting no help from me. Get gone and trouble us no more. We have no desire to harm her, we just came in search of information. Hmm. 
Your words ring true to me ears, but I trust a f not a face I can't see. And she don't want to speak to you anyway, so there's little help to be had. Um, you can't see anyone, you twit. Uh, we have to see her whether she desires the meeting or not, dwarf. Now tell me where she is. You're why she's hiding, stranger. She told me you'd come, and you'd be carrying her death with you. She's been afraid of your visit for a ten year or more, so much so that she won't step outside her cave. It's been all that I can do to get her eat. Oh. Why would we kill her? I can't see your face, stranger, much less read your heart. You, you could have a score of reasons. To be fair, we did just steal his I Miss My Home rock. And Game doesn't seem to let us give it back to him either. I wonder if we can kind of put it down on the ground and spit on it and step on it. Um, well, if to see it predicted our coming, she must have surely predicted why we would speak to her. Oh, I see your point, stranger. Alright then, I'll help you, but if you bring any harm to her, you'll answer to me. She sealed herself within a chamber below, and the door's a special one, one of me I'm making. There's no way to open it unless you know how to look at it. Oh my god, it's like my seven-year-old. You need to see the reflection of the door in a mirror, and then you'll see the workings of it. I finally grabbed the thing it is, make no mistake. Where do we get a mirror? I can craft you one, but I need your help with it. There are times I need a spare set of eyes to finish a piece. Well, a mirror is a logical point for that, I guess. Alright then, where do we begin? That's the spirit. Now get to the table and grab two of the smallest of the three chisels you see. Then he runs off to work. While he does that, I'm going to sip my tea. There you be, that'll serve as your key. If you're determined, now get along and get along with you and watch yourself in these caves. Um, what are you doing here? I don't know, finally there's the question I was expecting. By asking you've told me more than you know. What do you mean? I can hear it in your voice. You've never felt the call. The people, the dwarves, we have a special kinship with the forge. There comes a time in our life when we feel the forger's pull, and we are guided to craft an item of such quality, such strength that it takes a part of ourselves. The price is we will never forge another thing greater. It is the way of our people. Um, is that why you're here? This doesn't look like a good place to mine for metal. I'm sure his response is going to be about the bugs. I never felt the call of iron or steel or mithril or silver. All these things sleep beneath the earth. But in Gloomfrost, I found the material I forged was ice. Um, why would you forge ice into a weapon? Ice, it is the sky, stone, all in one. It'll be like forging the howling wind, the cold of winter, and the sky itself into a weapon. Can you feel the chill? It is the ice of the Gloomfrost asking to be worked, needing to be worked, slowly and carefully with a pick and chisel, with a slow flame and a craftsman's blade. Yeah, that's why I came here, bringing me forge and all me tools. What did you make? That's the bite of the iron, strange. Without me eyes, I can't fully see me work, so I labour here with two hands and nothing to work on. Oh my lord, I could guide your hands if you want. I think it's going to get a little blue if, if we choose this one. So naturally, we're going to choose this one. Ah, you know not what you say. If you're present, a bit would go go into the making as well. A strange thing that'd be. I'm willing to risk it. Oh well. Oh, let's be about this. No more beard chewing on, on me part. Very well, what do we do? Okay, so this is not creepy at all. Close your eyes and listen to the ice around you. What do you see when the black ice speaks to you? Um. Oh my god, this is going to be like one of those things that does things and the answers we give here are going to influence uh, what we get. So what do we see? A huge sword with edges of ice that freeze an opponent's breath. A blade like an icicle which melts into our grip as if born there and can kiss opponents with its chill. The ice stretching forth its black fingers into a balled up fist, fracturing any creature touched. I guess we've got a two-handed sword, we've got a, a long sword, we've got a, I assume a mace. A small black dagger which strikes with a winter's bite. Or a massive pillar of ice like a halberd. I don't give a t t 
flying fuck about a halberd. I want the two-handed sword. And I fetch me tools from the table and we'll set to work. Part of me goes, actually, no, we want the long sword, but we're stuck with it now. By Moradin's breath, it's finished, and what a piece it is. You've done me proud. Excellent, hand it over. Holy shit, he gave it to us. I'll oh, use it with me good graces, friend. I might be catching some shut eye soon. Working that ice mined the strength out of me. Oh, do you have any supplies? Let's see what he's got. Holy shit, fuck! Holy... That's his infantry. Oh, a frost brand. I want the frost brand. We've already got one, but I want another. Um, just double checking that that is in fact his side of things that we are looking at. Oh, we've, we've, we've already got one plus three scimitar. Um, can we sell those? No, we can't sell the Remoraz thing. Noted. Okay. So we can sell them or not? No, it's not looking like we can sell that. We'll sell the plus one shield, the plus two mithril field plate. Sivan's club. Not usable by mage, it's a plus five club. Woot. Hang, I'm going to hang on to that purely because, well, firstly it's a plus 5 thing, but I'm also certain that we're going to find something that needs a plus 5 weapon to hit. Um, Traveler's Robe. Snow Maiden's Reaver. 2% chance to freeze the target. It's otherwise a plus 2 Bastard Sword. Big whoop. Uh, plus 3 Sword. Celebrant's Blade. Plus 4. Let's see, plus three battle axe, we're never going to use that. Plus five, did I miss that? Okay, we're going to just get that back to our inventory and inspect it. We'll sell those few things. Let's see, what have we got? I remember that from Baldur's Gate. Um, hold fast arrows. Oh, entangles the target. Plus two cloak of protection. Gauntlet of valor. Immunity to charm, domination, entanglement, hold, paralysis, sleep, and web. Wow. What else does it do? As if we needed something else. Um, well, that's pretty sweet. That's 32,000 gold, though. The Therm Extract, which is a, a quest item in other games. Potion of Frost Giant Strength. Various gems. Um, we would normally think about buying those, but I really... I'm not going to. Wow. Okay. That makes sense. And I guess at this point in the game, I was expecting money to not be an issue. Winter King's Plate. AC3. With 25% cold and fire resistance. Except the thing is that, well, we have so many... Is it showing us who can and can't use it? We've got that much armor that's better than that. AC3, AC0 versus slashing. What are we wearing? That's AC... AC1 minus 2 versus slashing. AC0... Okay, so what we're wearing is way superior. The Mirror of Black Eyes. Where's that sword? Hand of the Gloomfrost plus 4. So it is a plus 4 two-handed sword. What's he using at the moment? Plus four. Well then... Uh, so your... 2d4 plus three with an additional... Yeah, okay, I can see why we're using that. What do you do? You're just a, an outright plus four two-hander. So you're a plus four two-hander with resistances 
5% chance of suffocating the target. Um, let's see. Plus um, elemental resistances. Yeah. Okay, we'll throw that up. And we'll give her that one. Because why not? And so I think we can get rid of the sword of sword of days because we're well, plus three meh. But what I really want to look at is um, the yeah, blood iron. I want blood iron, Svein's club, and young rage to the backpack. Okay, so that can be used as a plus five axe, just outright plus five axe. It's not a thrown weapon. What are you? Plus three. Plus five versus undead. It's that chance of berserk, I guess, that's the real, real issue. But we'll keep the undead one for the time being and see how we travel. And a plus five club. What do you do? Two extra first level priest spells. 50% chance of an extra 2d6. So 1d6 plus 4 versus 1d6 plus 5. Thacko plus 3, Thacko plus 5. So we're going to go with the club. Fire flail can go there for selling. No one can use blood iron. So we're going to sell those two. You're going to go in there. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to stick to what I said. These two can go back. Um, Frostbrand, I guess we're holding on to. That can be sold. Celebrant's Blade is just a plus four axe, which is now superseded by everything that we have. Um, plus five versus golems. Plus two Bastard Sword really isn't holding up anything at the moment anymore, is it? What are you anyway? You're a... You are your your bastard sword. Okay, so they're all getting sold. That's our mirror uh, mirror of black eyes. We can't use it for anything. We're going to put those in the gem bag, and we're going to go back to trading. As you wish. So, two, three, four, five. Straight away, we are making forty thousand gold. And I have to ask how he is carrying so much money in the middle of bloody nowhere. Um, quickly having a look at anything else. That Winter King's plate looks so cool. I am very sad that it's simply worse than anything that we're using. Um, Two-handed axe of greater phasing. 1d10 plus 2. Eh. We've made our choice. We stick by it. Um... Cloak of Protection, we don't care about these Gauntlets of Valor. Oh my god, Discord. It's going to be one minute, I just need to mute Discord entirely. Let's see. Mute that one. Mute that one. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, and that one, those gauntlets intrigue me. Is there anyone with a spare gauntlet? There we have many people with spare gauntlet spaces. Right then, we're buying those gauntlets. Uh, gauntlets of Valor. Um, we're going to leave everything else by the look of it. Ring of Lesser Resistance. Plus two save versus spell. It seems odd that that's only 600 gold. Okay. I mean, it's plus to save, so why wouldn't you buy it? Straight away, we've got one, two. He can wear it. We're not wearing that many rings. Oh, well, then we'll throw this one up on the person who's probably not going to be wearing a shield 90% of the time. 
And we'll give the immunity to all of these things to Esri. Um, purely for versatility. That way she can be healing and casting death magic. And finally, what happened to your eyes? I came upon the seer and survived the meeting. My eyes did not. She caught me wandering the gloom frost and when I saw her, it was like I'd been frozen and I watched the last of my last side of me and I watched the last side of me life as her dagger plucked out my eyes. Oh, why'd you do that? I feared I'd go tell the rest of me clan that I'd seen her in the gloom frost. She didn't want me bringing any of my brothers here or anyone else. Um let's see. Uh, we know those, and if we pick option one, he'll probably get pissy with us. So, bye. Now, we're going to head back down here, because there's a cave. Ah, oh, never mind. There was a cave. We'll go this way then, apparently. And more, more tea while we go to the next area. Oh, that's delicious. Certainly. Okay. So we're going to quick save, and we're going to send Lyra ahead. Here I go. Just to see what else we can find. Okay, so that's the seer. Of course, we've got an ice golem. Ice golem sentry. The number of ice golem sentries. Noted. A hole has been melted into the ice here. As you gaze into its depths, you can see no bottom. Many such holes fill these caverns. Radio. It's a very pretty cavern. I have to admit, I love this cavern. Okay, so we're no longer dealing with bugs, we're dealing with ice golems. Okay. Yes. Okay, you need me? Well, we'll get Lyra back, we'll buff, and then we'll rip and tear. What is it you uh, require? Let her get a bit closer before we start charging spells. Agreed. Where did Defensive Harmony go? There it is. Okay. Rip and tear. not dropping anything, but they're worth a fuckload of experience, and I'll go with that. Um... You know what, let's fall back a bit more, and another fireball. And we've leveled! I reckon everyone who needs it might get a level here. You can back up. Where's heal? So one level up from that. What else? Well, that's all from there. This time, action must speak louder than words. Ow. I reckon we can take him. I don't think they can take that one though. Damn it. I, I aborted that one on purpose because I didn't see much point in wasting the time casting it. How do they fare with magic missiles? We'll never know. Okay, we really want to heal our party. Cast that one. May I help? 
and that one. Because we don't really need a massive amount of healing for a mage. Case in point. Down a bit further. Oh, just in time to fall back and rest. And we've managed to clear that pretty quickly, somehow. I'm sure it's going to loop back around on itself. Quick save. Yes. Why are we going to level you up while we're here? Uh, oh my god, a proficiency. God damn it. So she's got long sword. She's got two weapon style. We can give her another two weapon style. What does three? Um, further reducing those penalties. Um, oh, really? We're stuck here. How is she for scimitar? Let's see, long sword, katana. Ah, oh, there we go, scimitar. So there are no no penalties from now on with that. That'll let her use frostbrand. Um, and, well, set traps is obviously never getting used. Uh, we'll do that, and we'll bring that up to 120. Because why not? Okay, inventory. Flaming longsword plus two, static shortsword plus three. Now we're going to give her frostbrand. So what have you got? Flaming Longsword, 1d8 plus 2 plus 1d3 fire versus 1d8 plus 3. 1d6 plus... Actually, Frostbrand is not better than what she's using, so we're going to load... We're going to redo that level. And we're going to just give her the extra point in two weapon fighting. I am exhausted. Level up. Two weapon style, and... That in there, and that in there. Quick save. Very well. Oh, we need to sleep still. Of course. Yes. How do they feel with magic missiles? I, I think they're resistant, but let's see. No, we did some damage. Let's try another round because we can. We're about to rest anyway. We save, please, and rest. Okay, we can milk this for all the experience it's yes. worth, game. I'm not bothered. Uh, Mouse acid oh. arrows. Hmm. And rinse and repeat. There we go. Quick save. Rest. Fine. Yes. Not complaining. Um, more, more than kind as force missiles this I await time. Your orders. And a uh, greater malaise. I don't mean to interrupt, but perhaps we should rest. Certainly. And quick save again. My mind. I have mixed feelings about actually finally getting that resting. Yes. May I help? I am buff. 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 And buff. Okay. What is it you require? You know, we're gonna throw haste up now. Oh, hey guys, we're gonna fall the fuck back now. Yes. It's a very heretic sounding cry. Damn it. God damn it. Uh, Blackwell, let's get a fireball going. 
Oh, damn it, I mistimed that one again. We must resort to violence. Fuck my life, guys. Prepare yourself. <laughs> it is a shame that we must resort to violence. Ow! So absurdly clun clumsy. Clumsy, oh my god, words. I am not good with words today, apparently. Take these guys out. What is it you require? Let me know what you want. At your sir, it shall be done. Just draw this one away. Hmm. Oh, and Esri leveled. Hooray! I await your orders. Wonder what she leveled as. There's another level. There's two more levels, Herbert West and Mr. Blackwell. Yes. Shall be done. Guys, you are too squishy to be fighting that thing. What is it you require? I am prepared. Uh, one I more. Hope. There we That's go. Well, I'll finish Onward it. To glorious battle. As you wish. All right. So quick save, and we're going to deal with these levels. Uh, I'll start with you, Herb. Uh, no proficiency. It's just a buttload of priest spells. I'm happy with that. Blackwell. No proficiencies. Eight level spells. Ah, oh, happiness. And Esri. Buttload of spells. No proficiencies. She's leveled up as a priest and as a mage. Okay, I'm not going to complain about that at all. Well then. Man, look at all those. We're going to give him... Yeah, we'll give him... Resist Fear. Why not give him a second one of those? Here we'll give him a... Thinking Slow Poison, because why not? We've got that many spell slots now that it's... It's like M&Ms. What are we going to give him at third level? What are we using? We're using a lot of buffs at the moment. What on earth is that? Favor of Illmater. Nope. Uh, protection from fire, but no. Eh. Cannon fodder. Fourth level, we are using recitation and protection from evil 10 foot radius. I'm thinking I might give him another protection from evil. We've got free action, neutralize poison. He's got one of those memorized. Uh, we'll give him another neutralized poison. Fifth level, he's got a Ray's dead, but we've only got the one human character, I think. I think he's human, and I think Blackwell might be, but with the number of elves, we might as well just get resurrection. What's that? Shield of Lathander. Righteous Wrath of the Faithful. I'm thinking we might give that a try. Sixth level, seventh level... That's right, he doesn't get an 8th level of spells. 6th level, we'll just give him another heal because we are using that. 7th level, he didn't get anything new. Okay, Esri, while well, we're looking at priest spells. 1st level, nothing new. 2nd level, uh, we will give her, we'll give her another healing. Why not? 3rd, we'll give uh, remove paralysis. 4th, Remove Paralysis is also useful there because she's got the, the gauntlets that make her immune to things that will hold her. So she can GTFO and then unfuck everyone else. Fourth level, she's got uh, Restoration. She's got Defensive Harmony. I might give her Recitation as well. Unfailing in... Oh, one creature. Screw that. Re recitation it is. Fifth, she's got Raised Dead. Sixth, she's got Heal. She hasn't yet earned seventh level. Okay, the, oh no, we've got to do her mage spells. I'm deliberately holding off Herbert West, Herbert West spells, not Herbert West, uh, Mr. Blackwell spells, because 8th level. Okay, magic missile, well duh. Uh, Mel's Acid Arrow has been useful. Said no one ever. What do we have here? Skull Trap, Monster Summoning, Ice Lance. I'm going to give her a haste, so that either one of them can throw that up at any given time. Sixth level, she's only got... What is that? A freezing Sphere. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for. We all know what Herbert West is going to be using. 
keep calling him Herbert West, what Mr. Blackwell is going to be using. Um, so sixth level, he's got Globe of Invulnerability or Chain Lightning. Are we using Chain Lightning for anything? Um, we're going to go with Globe of Invulnerability because I don't want to insta jib my party. Level 7. Oh, we're going to go with Sphere of Chaos because that sounds badass and you know, where else do you go from the ability to summon a demon from the fucking seventh circle of hell? Uh, and Maze, which is one spell less annoying than Time Stop itself. If we get Time Stop, then shit is on, but I'm fairly sure that's the ninth level. Okay, we're going to quick save. We're going to keep going for the moment because we've got a haste up, but once that wears off, we'll, we'll rest naturally. Alright, rip and tear. Alright, where's that going? I reckon... This is entirely too easy. Yes, they're big fuck off tanks of hit points, but at the same time they are just overall this area is too easy. I am here. No, don't heal the guy who hasn't taken a hit yet, you twit. Kill the paladin. I am by your side. Oh, let's just plow on. Ouch, there go our hit points. Yes. Okay, well if he's gonna ignore everyone. Oh yeah, there we go. I am here. At your service. Naturally they're gonna pick on him now. Uh Globe of Invulnerability, but that protects him from spells, doesn't it? Here, healing, please. Oh yeah. dear. You have need of me. Too bad. Okay, that's it. I get to sleep. This is what happens when I don't rest. Hmm. Magic missile. Let me know what you're out of magic missiles. What else do we have? Well, I'm going to be ever the optimist here and try and command this thing. Ow. Funnily enough, it didn't yeah. take. Alistair is just getting As wrecked up there. One down. We're gonna pick on go. Herbert Monsters West now, by the look of it. it you, it shall be done. you guys can be brave and run. I don't know how much more I can last. No! Yeah, I didn't see that ending any other way, and we're gonna reload because certainly our chances are simply enhanced if we have our high level spells. Recitation, prayer. Yes. I hope. Haste. Protection yes. from evil. Defensive harmony. Okay. We're going to aggro all of them. Or two of them, apparently. It is a shame that we must resort to violence. At your service. There we go, and we're going to cast Sphere of Chaos up there. It seems to be doing something. Peace with your gods. Bring it on! It's a nifty looking spell, if nothing else. Yes. And we can heal Aurelia. So apparently we can't say while that's running. It's also very loud. Of course, Ezri is immune to bloody haste. And they catch up more than tea. Oh, 
Oh, that is the stuff. And then we have to turn AI on. Yeah, there we go. Now Lyra's going to detect traps. That was what I was missing before. Oh, hey, all of you things. We're going to back up a bit. We're going to fireball. And skull trap. Where's skull trap? There it is. I'm going to draw them through the sphere of chaos. And see if it's... Yes, it's going to affect them. That makes me happy. I'm very, very happy with that. Into the fray. I'm a that wrecked Replace them the fairly Most effectively. I await your orders. You two can put that one down. Ow. Or not. Ow. I this guess I gave you guys a choice. Speak louder than word. I'm a Watch me Ow. What is it you okay. want? Everyone side. pile on that At one. I am prepared. Hmm. I don't know how much more I can. I will assist you. Well, in then heal awesome. yourself. You're a fucking cleric. My money's on him. Ah, oh, so my money's on him dying, but then he actually managed to heal himself. Where's the other heal gone? I only had one for him apparently. I thought I gave him a second. Oh well. Uh, critical wounds on Lyra. Yes. Ezra, you can heal Alistair. I am here. Beat down. Oh, go take care of that Remoraz. Quick save. Oh, we're fatigued. Fine, we'll rest. Very well. We still have Sphere of Chaos running? No. Why can we not rest? I am exhausted. Fine, then we'll just throw up that want. other haste. So we'll still have those penalties to our various roles, but we'll be making those roles that much faster. So I guess this will come out ahead? I don't know. It was all, it's basically the avoid hangovers by staying drunk approach. Shall be true. I was wondering if we'd be able to hit him. What the hell? A really pretty amulet. Take that away. Okay, well. Apparently you can't. I, oh, because we gave it to the cleric. Of course we gave it to the cleric. Kothus blood. blood. The God of Fire, Kossoth, rarely takes physical form in the realms on those very rare occasions. When he does, however, destruction lies in his wake. You are summoned in the year 801, Dow Reckoning, by a large collection of faithful followers who plead that they needed their God's aid to defeat a colossal octopus threatening the temple on the coast. Kossoth appeared in a gigantic bonfire and did battle with the enormous supernatural beast. The God's avatar triumphed over the octopus, but the monster did manage to damage Kossoth's essence. The divine fire raced through the creature's body and lodged in one of the creature's eyes, quickly transforming it into a bizarre black sphere lit by the flame within. All casting times reduced by 2, all fire damage increased by 20%. I want to give that to Herbert, we uh, to Mr. Blackwell, but plus one intelligence. I, I'm going to look this up between episodes as to whether that 20 versus 19 intelligence is going to mean a spell slot for him realistically. Because yes. I'll take an extra, I'll take a ninth level or an extra ninth level spell over minus two casting times. Giving that to Herbert West seems the more logical choice, and I mean Herbert West this time. Uh, because healer takes a hell of a long time to cast, and if we can reduce that by two turns, two rounds, then that would seem the logical thing. Side. The inability to wish. save right now is concerning, however. There we go. See you, trap. Yes. Okay, that's it. We're gonna Here I go. Yes. I don't mean to interrupt, but As perhaps you wish. Should rest. I don't mean to interrupt, but perhaps you should shut the fuck up. Ow. 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 
Okay. Well, let's test out that new fang newfangled healing speed thing that he doesn't have because I haven't rested. Oh. Ah, uh, well then. Oh, there she goes. We'll have to resurrect her. Well, on the bright side, yay for reduced casting time. Okay. Armor, offhand, amulet, one ring, helmet, apparently. Arrows, arrows. Girdle, gem bags, boots, potion, 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 ranged weapon, main hand. There. Like nothing ever happened. You have need of me as and apparently it healed her as well. I am exhausted. Bring it on. Ow. Fall back. Yes. Black hole fireball. Injury <laughs> skull trap. Vita. Let me guess I interrupted her spell. I need aid. Well if I didn't then I did then. Managed to totally fuck our party up. My aim shall be true. Yeah, we're gonna load. There is simply no way we're gonna come out of that well. Right. You have me as you wish. I am prepared. Okay. I hope. May I help? Buff. Yes. Buff. Yes. Ah, oh, where'd it go? There it is. Let me know what you want. And buff. I am out. What is it you require? Yeah, uh, right. There, up the way. Up there. At okay, Blackwell. Fireball, Ezri, Skull Trap. That's better. Oh, We're also going to throw another Sphere of Chaos because that was good. <laughs> Not overpowered at all. Oh, we've triggered a thing. Oh, we've opened the thing. Death comes with swift wings. My hiding place is a place of hiding no longer. Um. Let's see, why are you hiding here? Why am I hiding? Come. Why does anyone hide? Death is what I hide from. My spirit fears for its life as do the spirits of all living things. So much that I must run from death. Cheat it by hiding from it. Your coming is why I buried myself here. For in visions, my death walks in your shadow. It is for that that I fled my people, tried to hide myself from your eyes, and the reason I have long feared this meeting. Yet fear tires the spirit, and it has brought me little except more fear. <laughs> kill me if you wish, or leave me here, and she will kill me. In the end, I die the same death. Who's she? You have seen the creature that wears Wolfdane's body like a cloak. 
She has chosen wisely, that one. Oh, what's possessing him? She is the spirit of one who died in the North long ago. And she carries the death of the North with her now. She has taken Wolf Dane's body, and with it, the heart of his people. She is clever and moves as ice moves slowly and patiently. She will prove a difficult foe, for she carries death with her, as do you all. Oh, how can we defeat it then? All things have a weakness, and in this, the creature that is Wolfdane and I share a common one, sight. Do you know why I have hidden here? chosen this place. The ice is a shield more powerful than steel or iron. Though it does not know this, the creature that is Wolfdane cannot approach it and remain Wolfdane. Why not? Ice is a curious thing. One may see through it, yet see themselves in it. Therein lies power. The creature that is Wolfdane is a proud thing like all of her kind. She cannot bear to see herself as anything other than she is, no matter what corpse she hides in. The mirror you held to enter here will force her to see. In seeing, Wolfdane's body will melt from her like water. No more Wolfdane. Only the beast, the great worm of ice and snow. Yay, big fuck off dragon. Bring the ice mirror before her. She will remember it, for it is of her. And a thing knows its own nature. So it's another half a million experience points. Um. Let's see. But you can see what he is and what he isn't. If you came with us, the barbarians would heed your word. There'd be no need for the mirror. In her shadow is my death. I will not approach her. The mirror is enough. And my words shall be heard only by you. Well, if you won't come with us, then the mirror will have to do. If you would leave this place, I may speed your journey. Though only to the entrance of the gloom. Frost, no farther. Do you wish it? Oh, we still have unfinished business. The moment of my death approaches. It is best you not remain. Yeah, yes. we're gonna have at her. Yes. Uh, Blackwell. Maze. I am prepared. I Everyone else, just throw everything that we have at her. Great of Malaysian. Yes. Bolt of Glory. Let's oh wow. Really? That was all 30 yeah. experience and a cloak. Yeah, a bit late to the party there, guys. Meanwhile, Rayleigh is all the way back there. I'm willing to bet that she missed out on all that delicious experience. Oh no, she leveled. She leveled. So what the hell is this? Wailing of virgins. This thin cloak appears frayed at first, but upon closer inspection, the stray threads are actually human hairs from which the cloak is woven. It's cursed. Plus four AC versus piercing, crushing, and missile. Plus two versus slashing. Immunity to all fear-based effects. I'm not sure I understand why this is a bad thing. Um. Hey, we're going to give you this thing with fucking nothing but positive effects and not let you take it off. Oh no. I'm not quite sure the game really captured what they were hoping for with that. Um, 
let's see. I think we should give that to Aurelia because I don't think there's anything more appropriate for a paladin to be wearing than a cloak made from the scalps of virgins. I really think that as far as fashion statements go, that's the best one for her. I am by your side. As you wish. Um Now we've got to walk out the slow way, but again I I'm standing by my choice. I'm gonna level up Aurelia. Naturally, all she gains is a second level priest spell because at 16th level and counting, that really is going to matter at all. Same for Alistair. Lyra has gained another level. We're going to get her pocket picking up to 125. Um, lock picking up to 120. Same with finding traps. Lyra's level 21 now. I don't actually. She has now officially reached the highest level of any character I've ever had in in an AD and D game. Given that the cap in um, Neverwinter Nights was 20, I'm and I'm confident that they're higher level than I ever saw in Icewind Dale 2. I'm pretty sure that they could go through um, the Underdark now, or the Lower Dawn's Deep, or whatever it is, and just absolutely face roll those Umberhulks. So that was what we set out to achieve by being here. So we'll get everyone back to the surface, um, and then we'll, we'll save and call it an episode. Of course we sprung a trap. You're all terrible. Oh, and of course we've got someone bringing up the <sighs> rear. Who is it? I am exhausted. No idea. Alistair, maybe. Come on, guys. So overall, that wasn't an unproductive episode. We got to smash some things, stab some things. Uh, we got to knife her and take her cloak. Made story progress. Everyone has leveled in one case twice. So that's that's really par for the course through this expansion. Who are we missing? One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's everyone. There we go. Very well. Uh, we could visit that guy, but we really have nothing to gain from it. The only reason I'd be resting is to cast haste again, but even that problem with even that is it wouldn't affect Ezri and we'd still have to wait for her to carry her sorry ass through the cave, so we're just going to get on with it. And the other thing that I would be I interested in doing is but melting those Remoraz eggs. My mind grows tired but the game doesn't seem to want to allow us to do that. Even I need to rest once in a while. Why is... Oh, of course he's got those boots of speed. Well, we're going to watch our dots walk in a circle. I must have clicked there by accident. Because... There we go. Must have accidentally clicked there when I was investigating the, the pile of eggs. So I, it feels like we're coming pretty close to boss fight. We've done the go find the quest giver quest. We've got we've done the go find the thing that the quest giver wants quest. I am exhausted. Now we've really only got the stab the big bad quest. I wonder what we're going to have to do to get up to the big bad and then of course we have a dragon let's not forget this we might be level million but there is a freaking dragon at the end of this I hate dragons in these games I'm fairly confident that it's Icewind Dale 2 that has it's either a blue dragon or a white dragon and it's absolutely horrible in contrast with um, Everwinter Nights. Taking on a red dragon with Deacon, that's an experience. I miss Deacon. This game needs Deacon. 
We want Deacon. Who are we missing? One, two, three. Okay, that's it. I gotta sleep. No, we had everyone. Sleepy time. Really? I don't mean they chose poorly. Aurelia is close to another level too. Nope. Nope, I just looked at the wrong time. Uh, Herbert West is close to a level, followed closely by... So basically our casters are all on the verge of another level. They're not going to get it from these things though. Token squish, because that is my favourite sound effect in these games. Oh come on, can you please just kill them? Now, we actually have to equip that, don't we, to get those extra bonus spell, extra, but to get those bonus spells, um, give another fireball. Oh my god. I'm a busy man. I got places to go, monsters to kill. At your service. I'm tempted to put a fireball there, but we all know how that's going to end. Uh, let's see. Oh, we haven't got haste yes. back, so we'll just pull back a bit. Otherwise, he's going to be wolf food. Very well. Let's put those in the bag of holding. It is a shame that we must resort to violence. Okay, and we finally rested, yay! Okay, well we've got to make our way all the way back. At least this game is consistent with its big sweeping landscapes that we have to watch our dots traverse again and 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 again. End game. Yep. Look at him go. I have mixed feelings that this area has to be populated since we were last here, actually, because at least if we had to fight our way through, it'd be something interesting that we could, you know, talk about, but it's very much, yay, static, snowy environment. Yay, dots! Go, dots, go! And that dot, that dot is just charging ahead. Alistair dot kicks ass, apparently. Who's this dot? Uh, Lyra dot. We hate you, Lyra dot. Move your ass. nearly there. So I think this should be the last area transition before we head back. Gloom Frost, Barbarian Camp. So yeah, I think next step is to go and confront Wolf Dane in the Barbarian Camp. So we'll save it when we get here. I don't want to, die, to go you know, through the area transition and find ourselves straight into exposition. It's better saved for next episode. One, two, three, four, five, and we're all waiting on you, Lyra Dot. And six. So, a quick save, and a regular save. What episode are we up to? I think we're up to episode 30. Indeed, we are. So, zero, three, zero. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and next episode, hopefully, I say that with mixed feelings, hopefully we will have a dragon sigh. But until then, cheers!